CIET NCERT presents audiobook of mathematics for class 5 entitled Math Magic 5. This is the chapter 2. Part 3. Page 28. Shapes and Towers. Look for triangles in the pictures given. We have some pictures of constructions like building structures, bridges and electricity towers. From the activity changing shapes, can you guess why triangles are used in these towers, bridges etc? Look around and find out more places where triangles are used. Angle and time. We see a picture of two girls talking to each other. The first girl is asking the other girl, Zenith, your watch does not have digits. How do you read time? Zenith answers, I just see the angles. See, when the hands make a right angle, I know it is nine o'clock. There are many times in a day when the hands of a clock make a right angle. Now you draw some more. Three clock pictures are given here without the hands or needles of the clock. You are supposed to draw them, making all those times of the day when the hands make a right angle. Triangles are shapes which are strong and do not change easily when pressed. In fact, children can also observe how different shapes are made stronger by using diagonal beams like in the bridge, which divide shapes into triangles. Page 29 Write what kind of angle is made by the hands at these times. Also write the time. We have five pictures of table clocks given here, showing different times, and thus we can say the hands of these clocks are making different angles. You are supposed to write what kind of angle is being made and their name in the blank spaces given below the clocks. Draw the hands of the clock when they make an angle which is less than a right angle. Also write the time. Again we have three clocks shown here without their hands. You are supposed to draw the hands making an angle which is less than a right angle and then write the corresponding time in the blank boxes given below the clocks. Below this we have the answers of the matchstick puzzles given on page 19. Page 30. Degree Clock Appu and Kittu are playing carom board. Appu hit the striker. Below this we see a picture of Appu and Kittu playing carom board. Appu hit the striker and Kittu is shown thinking, Hmm hmm, it comes back at the same angle. In the picture, three points, A, B and C are shown. Draw a line to show from which point Kittu should hit to get the queen. Kittu is seen saying, If you want, you can measure the angle in degrees using a degree clock. Degree is written as a small circle on the upper side. Page 31 Activity Making a degree clock 1. Cut a circle out of paper. 2. Fold it into half. 3. Fold it once again into a quarter. 4. Fold it once more. 5. Open the paper. You will see lines like this. 6. Now mark 0 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees and 180 degrees as shown. We have the picture cutouts of the circle 
and the different angles have been marked here. 7. Paste it on an old card. 8. From the center, draw one hand. We see one hand being drawn here from the center, pointing to zero degrees. 9. Make a red hand with a thick paper and fix it to the center with a drawing pin so that it is free to move. The same has been done and shown in the picture. Your degree clock is ready. Use your degree clock to measure the right angle of your pencil box. Dash is the measure of the right angle. Can you guess how many degrees is the angle which is half of a right angle? Dash one third of a right angle? Dash two times of a right angle? Dash in the bottom right corner of the page, a bird sitting on a tree is shown telling us, 90 degrees is called right angle. Measure the angle from where Kittu should hit the striker on page 30. Page 32. Angles in a paper aeroplane. 1. Take a square sheet of paper. 2. Fold it in half and open it. 3. Fold the corners to the center. Your paper looks like this. We see the cutout of a paper which has been folded in half and the corners have been folded to the center. The top corner has been marked as P and the bottom as Q. 4. Fold the green triangle such that P touches Q. 5. Fold the top two corners of this rectangle along the dotted lines. We see this being done in the picture. 6. Your paper will look like this. There is a small triangle in the picture which has to be folded up. 7. Turn it over and fold it in half along the dotted line. 8. Now, to make a wing, fold the yellow edge over the red edge. 9. Turn it and do the same on the other side as well. Your plane is ready to fly. How well does it fly? Find the angles of 45 degrees and 90 degrees when you open your plane. In the aeroplane, there are folds of 45 degrees, 90 degrees and other angles. The cutouts of 30 degrees and 60 degrees are on the last page of the book. Children can be encouraged to measure various angles around them. Page 33 Angles with Yoga Rahmat is doing yoga. These are the pictures of different asanas he does every day. We see few poses made by Rahmat while doing yoga. In all the poses, he is creating some angles which have been marked here. Estimate the measure of as many angles as you can made by different parts of the body while doing asanas. The D game. You can play the D game with your friends. You draw an angle. Your friend will guess the measure of that angle. Then you use your D to measure it. The difference between the measured angle and the guess will be your friend's score. The one with the lowest score will be the winner. Come on, play. We have a table made here with four different columns. They are titled Draw Angle, Guess, Measure and Score. Three rows are there and the entire table has to be filled by you. Below this we see the picture of a D and next to it a bird perhaps a peacock 
telling us, you can find this D in your geometry box. Measure the angle on my head fan. Take this opportunity to introduce the D or protractor. Children will need some help to read the measure of the angle, but they need to do so only approximately. Part 3 The chapter 2 ends here. Narrator Gaurav Marva Assistance in production by Soumya Malik Producer Vimalesh Chaudhary Presented by C.I.E.T. N.C.E.R.T. New Delhi, India